You guys seen the movie The Room? The one with like, oh no, Leisha, I did not hit her. I did not. Like The Room, that terrible movie that came out like 10, 20 years. I don't know, remember it coming out. I've seen it one time. It's a movie that's really bad. Like, it's bad that it's funny. Well, here you go. Gods of Egypt. Listen, I, there's just nothing to say, nothing to say about this movie. I think everyone knows what kind of review this movie's going to get. You can just look at the trailer, you've heard of it, you know what kind of review it's going to be, and welcome to my first movie of the year that gets a flat out F. I'll say it at the very end again, but I'm just going to tell you that's my grade because there's no other grade to give this movie besides an F. I'm saying that right now because I already know my grade. I already know it. I'm giving it that grade because Gods of Egypt is a total piece of crap. So the movie stars a guy from Game of Thrones, who, which I do watch. Jamie is a Jamie, yeah, it's Jamie Lannister, and he's a guy. He's a guy. He's gonna be king whenever he's gonna be god of Egypt until Jorah Burr comes in. He's all evil. He's like, no, I will be king, and he pretty much kicks him out, gets rid of him. He goes away, and now Jorah Burr's taking over. He's a bad guy, or whatever. He's making everything go, or whatever. And when they fight, they turn out these big eagle metal things, or whatever, and they fight. And then there's human character. He's from a movie. I don't. He, I think he's no. He's the kid from The Giver. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And so he goes and finds Jamie Lannister. He's like, I need your help. We need you to come back. We need you to defeat him. He's got his one eye patch. He's like, okay, I will help you. And they go on a request to go to Jared Butler and defeat him. And him become king again. And humans will be saved again. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This movie's not good. I'll tell you that much. Okay, first things first. Every single shot in this movie has CGI somewhere. Uh, CGI, if it's really Really good, like the Jungle Book coming out in the next month or whatever. That is, that's a movie full of CGI. It looks beautiful. Everything looks great. And this movie, lazy ass CGI, honestly. It, it The whole movie looks terrible. There's a few quick shots where it looks cool looking. Now, when they fight, it's like turning the big eagle things. It, it is enjoyable to watch, but it's so CGI. Like you, You're like, oh my gosh, they're so in computer right now. They're, there's, no, there's no set, no to be seen. It's just a computer. And that's it. There's no, like, style to it. And the directing is terrible. It's so TV movie directing. Like, the green screen. There's sometimes the green screen looks terrible. My big one is maybe this whole movie is a CGI fest. And we don't need that. Like, why do we need so much CGI in this movie? Use some practical effects for crying out. And why is there no Egyptian people, like, cast? There's not even one Egyptian person in this movie. It's all American people. Which, I mean, I'm not a huge problem with that. But if it's, like, a whole movie, there's not one Egyptian person. I'm like, what? It's gods of Egypt. Ugh. Okay. And another thing is, Gerard Butler, he is a cartoon. He's a cartoon. I am the god. This is my kingdom. He's so cartoony. It's so, like, I am the villain here. Defend me. Ugh. Like, he's just so, uh. Jamie Lannister, he tried. He tried. He tried to be a complete bad A. We tried to make him, we tried to motivate him. Well, I can't. I don't care for his character. I don't care if he was a king. I don't care if he's trying to come back to be a king again. I don't care for him. But the thing is, he tries so hard. I'm gonna give him a little credit, but it it doesn't do it. Every other human character, they're crap. The guy, the kid from The Giver, I didn't care a single thing for him and that girl, that relationship. They tried to add humor in this movie. It did not work. It was so awkward, human, and it's humor. It's just so bad. The humor sucked. And why? Why in the world is this movie two hours and seven minutes? This movie should have been an hour and twenty minutes. They advertised this movie like it was like a stupid kind. I thought they knew this movie was gonna be bad. But why make it two hours? It felt so bad. There were so parts where it was so boring, and then they had the CGI mess. The action was filmed terribly. The characters are terrible. The everything CGI bad. This movie is awful. I did not like this movie, but I've heard so many people say like it's so bad, it's enjoyable. I can say that because there's some dialogue in this movie. It's terrible. The CGI like big. Egyptian eagle things fighting each other. That was enjoyable to watch. Whatever. My hair is so bad. And my hair is just like, Jacob, fix me. I'm okay, hair. Anyways, I'm giving this movie, like I said in the very beginning, it gets a full out F. It's bad. It's really bad that I just, I can't ever watch it again. If I do, I gotta watch it with friends and I gotta laugh at it because it's that bad. So if you like, like, bad entertaining movies, you're gonna love this movie, but you know, it's not my movie, and I'm not, I hate to say it, I'm not really into pyramids and Egyptians, like, I'm not, I'm not being racist or anything, I'm just saying I'm not into that kind of stuff, so, 
I never liked this movie from the start, and it sucked, and it's a big fat F, and you can definitely say it's my first F of the year. Anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this review, and I will see you guys next time. Didn't work. Bye, guys.